Right, as you can see now, we've got all the outline of the pattern. Uh, the mosaic at this point is pretty much done. All we're going to do is the filling in. What I want you to notice a few things here is that you see this gap is just, it, it's just a bit less than two tesserae width. This is a little bit more. You can see this one. To keep this two tesserae gap here, I've actually had to come in on the pattern, on the uh, board itself. You see there's a gap. That's touching, 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 but there's a, a gap there. That doesn't matter. Look at the original ones and you'll see that they weren't trying to be really exact. The very, very good ones were much neater, uh, um, a, a very sort of high standard through experience, but they didn't try to make things as neat as we do these days. Um, what we're going to do is when we do that we will just fill in with extra tesserae. You could have parts of this where they are that wide that they're almost three tesserae width. In that case what they would have done is just stuck in an extra line of the colour tesserae. They weren't that fussed about everything being really exact. So, to start you've got your green and your red tesserae. So if we go back to the have a look at the pattern here you can see you've got a line of white line of red and this follows each separate link so what you might find it handy to do is that's going to be red that's going to be red put it on the side it's going to go check you've got it right there that's green that's green and we've got outer green and you can see how these now match up. There's your green line, there's your red, your white's going to be on the inside. So if we start on, uh, let's start on this one with the green. Set your tesserae right around to there, your glue. Right, now this one, because this is fairly tight, I'm going to push this right up into the corner, push that right up. right up to the edge there there now as we start coming round going to use keystone cuts to get round that curve and what I'm going to do is just start bringing them in you see there's a bit more of a gap there let's get the glue in all the way round Up in there, fairly tight there. Another keystone and bring them in slightly, don't push them right up to the edge because we've got that extra space to make up a little bit more another keystone there so you can see these are pushed right up these are brought out slightly don't be tempted to use one green one white one green one white don't set them like that you this is all about developing your eye to look at these in a certain way so you can see yeah I need to push those up tight these can come out a little bit more because if you look there is quite a gap there so we can come in even more there right now we're going to set the white on there normally you do all the green all the way around show you what we do here just trim off as you go around now here Keystone cut, bringing it out. And there.
gaps closing in now and now as we go down here you can see that their space is shutting down a little bit put one in on the end and then if you've got a gap you get a half cup that you can place in there so that is as neat as you need to be with that you can see there's the lines there's a tightening there is the loosening up here and that's fine now do the rest of the the green the white then the red and the white there um, on the other strands